Now what about finding theta b and theta c using with the entry of COVID? Now what about finding theta b and theta c using unit load method? Our formula will still be summation of integral of mm dx over ei. This will result in theta. The only difference is in the application of the unit load. For example, if we want to find theta c, our unit load for theta c must be a unit moment meaning the magnitude is one applied at c this is point a this is point b this is point c okay so since the load is applied here there is only one point of change of load that is c so we can have the segment c to a i will use c as our origin so, let me tabulate our computation. The segment, our segment is from A to C or C to A, segment CA. So, our X initial there, our X initial is at X at C is 0, while X final, the X at A is 4. Okay, so this would be our limit 0 to 4. Now, let me write here our moment equation. The moment equation at any section between C and A, its distance from the origin C is x, is minus 30x, minus because it's downward, minus due to this, 10 x squared over 2 okay or 5 x squared now the unit moment or moment equation due to unit load this one is going to be this is clockwise so at any section here this is your x clockwise moment is downward so minus so it would be minus 1. You don't need to multiply this by x because that is a moment. Okay? So therefore, our integral from x initial to x final of mm dx over ei, our ei is 10 to the 6. So computing this now, integral of 
let me just write it here. Integral from 0 to 4 of minus 30x minus 5x squared times minus 1 over ei which is 10 to the 6. And this is going to be, this is your theta at c. Computing it, so this is going to be, theta at point c is going to be 3.47 times 10 to the minus 4, and this would be in radian. Do you follow? You get it? Okay. What about the other one? We are asked to find the theta at b. For theta at b, then we apply the unit load at b. This is 1. Still clockwise, no? So this is the unit loading for theta at b. Because the load is applied at b, it is a point of change of loading. So we will be obliged that our section will be CB and BA. So it would be two segments. So doing that here, so for segment C to B, X at C is zero. X at B, X is coming from C. This is what we are using as an origin. So from C to B, this would be our X. Here from C to B, distance X is from C. So at B, X is zero or X is one. Now due to the actual moment, the, the section here is 30X, 10X squared over two. So that is minus 30X minus because it's downward times distance x. So minus the moment due to uniform load is wx squared over 2. So minus 10x squared over 2. Right? Then the moment equation here from C to the section, there is no any load. So the moment is 0. Right? Right? Okay. So therefore, 0 times anything, the integral of mm dx will be 0. So C to B will not have any contribution to the computation. Now from B to C, at B, from B to A, at B, x is 1, at A, x is 4. So the limits will be from 0 to 4. So the moment equation here between B and A, this is represented by this section. It would be minus 30 times X, minus 10 X squared over 2. Same thing. So minus 30 times X, minus 10 X squared over 2. And the moment here at any section between B and A, this is your X. Remember that moment clockwise is downward moment so it is given a sign of negative and we have here one and that would be minus one no need to multiply by x because this is a moment so therefore for this one the integral from one to four of minus 30x minus 5x squared over minus 5x squared times minus 1 mm over ei that is 10 to the 6. So therefore computing this, this will be 3.3 times 10 to the minus 4. 0 plus this, the summation of integral of mm dx over ei therefore is going to be your theta at b. 0 plus this, it will be 3.3 times 10 to the minus 4 radians. You follow? So the unit load method is one of...